Inquisitorial Threat Assessment, Orc Mechboy Orchimedes Inquisitor Gelman's RAF Ordo Zeno's Threat Level. Extremist Mechboy Orchimedes poses a significant threat to Imperial interests due to his ingenuity, resourcefulness, and capacity for technological innovation within the Orc race. As a renowned Mechboy, Orchimedes has demonstrated a profound understanding of Orc technology, which he applies with devastating effect on the battlefield. This assessment will detail the various aspects of Orchimedes' threat profile, including his technological capabilities, strategic acumen, and potential implications for imperial operations. Orchimedes possesses an exceptional understanding of Orc technology, including weapons, vehicles, and machinery. His ability to construct and modify Orc contraption surpasses that of most mech boys, allowing him to create devastating war machines and fortifications. His creations often feature crude but effective modifications, incorporating salvaged imperial technology or unconventional materials. Orchimedes' proficiency in reverse engineering and reproposing captured equipment presents a significant challenge for imperial forces, as it enables the orcs to adapt rapidly to new threats on the battlefield. Orchimedes' teleporter technology stands as one of his most formidable and unpredictable innovations within the orc arsenal. This technology allows orc forces to rapidly deploy across the battlefield, bypassing enemy defenses and striking at vulnerable points with unparalleled speed and precision. While crude by imperial standards, Orchimedes' teleporter devices harness the raw psychic energy of the WA. To tear open temporary rifts in reality, through which orc units can be instantaneously transported. Teleporter technology provides orc forces with unparalleled strategic mobility enabling them to outmaneuver and outflank imperial defenses with ease. Orchimedes' mastery of teleporter technology allows him to deploy orc units behind enemy lines or within fortified positions, catching imperial forces off guard and disrupting their lines of communication and supply. Teleporter technology affords orc commanders a high degree of tactical flexibility on the battlefield. Orc units can be rapidly redeployed to respond to changing battlefield conditions or exploit enemy weaknesses, allowing for dynamic and unpredictable maneuvers. Orchimedes teleporter devices can also be used to extract orc units from untenable positions, or to reinforce critical sectors under threat. The sudden appearance of orc forces via teleporter technology can sow confusion and panic among imperial ranks, disrupting enemy formations and causing morale to falter. Orc commandos, equipped with stealth technology and specialized weaponry, are often deployed via teleporter to conduct hit-and-run raids on enemy supply lines and command structures, further exacerbating the chaos wrought by Orchimedes' technological prowess. While devastating in its effectiveness, teleporter technology is not without its limitations and vulnerabilities. Orc teleportation devices are notoriously unstable and prone to malfunction leading to instances of catastrophic misfires or accidental materializations within solid objects. Imperial forces have exploited these vulnerabilities by deploying specialized countermeasures, such as teleportation inhibitors and jamming devices, to disrupt orc teleporter operations and mitigate their impact on the battlefield. Orc Mechboy Orchimedes' contributions to the development of Gargants and Orc submarines represent significant advancements in Orc technology expanding the orc arsenal beyond traditional ground-based warfare, and enabling the orcs to project their power in new and unexpected ways. Orchimedes' involvement in the creation and refinement of Gargant's colossal war machines towering over the battlefield, showcases his ingenuity and technical prowess. Gargant's are towering constructs armed with an array of devastating weaponry, including massive cannons, ballistic projectiles, and close combat weapons, capable of laying waste to enemy forces with ease. Orchimedes' modifications and enhancements to the basic Gargant design have made these war machines even more formidable, incorporating salvaged imperial technology, experimental orc contraptions, and crude but effective upgrades to maximize their combat effectiveness. Orchimedes' development of Gargants likely involved a combination of reverse engineering captured imperial technology, reproposing orc scrap and salvaged materials, and incorporating his own innovative designs and modifications. His mastery of orc engineering principles, and his intuitive understanding of battlefield dynamics enabled him to create gargants optimized for different combat roles, including long-range artillery support, armored assault, and close-quarters combat. 
Orchimedes Gargants are a testament to the orc capacity for technological adaptation and innovation, showcasing the orc's ability to rival even the most advanced imperial war machines. Orchimedes' foray into the development of orc submarines represents a bold expansion of orc capabilities into the realm of naval warfare. Orc submarines are crude but effective vessels, designed to operate beneath the surface of hostile waters and strike at unsuspecting enemy ships and coastal installations. Orchimedes submarines are typically constructed from salvaged ship hulls, reinforced with scrap metal and orc ingenuity to withstand the pressures of the deep and the rigors of naval combat. These vessels are armed with torpedo tubes, depth charges, and ramming prows, making them a formidable threat to imperial naval forces and civilian shipping alike. Orchimedes' development of gargants and orc submarines has significant strategic implications for imperial military planners and naval commanders. Gargants provide the orcs with an unprecedented level of firepower and battlefield dominance, allowing them to overwhelm imperial defenses and seize territory with alarming speed and efficiency. Orc submarines, meanwhile, pose a new and unexpected threat to imperial naval superiority, forcing imperial fleets to adapt their tactics and strategies to counter this emerging threat. Orchimedes' role extends beyond mere technical proficiency. He holds considerable influence within Orc society due to his reputation as a master mechboy. His strategic insights and innovative designs have earned him the respect of war bosses and other influential Orc leaders, allowing him to exert considerable influence over Orc military campaigns. Orchimedes' ability to coordinate large scale operations and deploy specialized Orc technology poses a direct threat to Imperial holdings and strategic objectives. His involvement in Orc Wars increases the overall effectiveness and lethality of Orc forces, making him a priority target for Imperial countermeasures. Orchimedes' association to Gazgul Mag Yurak Thraka, the infamous war boss of the Orcs, is one rooted in mutual respect, shared goals, and a symbiotic relationship centered around the advancement of the Orc race and the pursuit of conquest. While Orchimedes is not Gazgul's subordinate in the traditional sense, he is one of the few Orc mechboys whose innovations and technological prowess have earned him the war boss's admiration and support. Orchimedes and Gazgul share a common vision for the advancement of Orc technology and the establishment of a galaxy spanning Orc empire. Recognizing Orchimedes' exceptional abilities as a mechboy, Gazgul has forged a collaborative relationship with him, providing resources, manpower, and strategic support to facilitate the development and deployment of Orchimedes' technological innovations. In return, Orchimedes pledges his loyalty to Gazgul's cause and commits his talents to the furtherance of Orc dominance. Orchimedes' technological expertise complements Gazgul's martial prowess, creating a potent partnership that has proven instrumental in numerous Orc campaigns and conquests. Orchimedes' inventions, including teleporter technology, custom-built war machines, and specialized weaponry, enhance the effectiveness and lethality of Gazgul's war forces, allowing them to overcome formidable enemies and seize territory with alarming efficiency. Gazgul recognizes Orchimedes' strategic value and ensures that his talents are fully leveraged to advance their shared objectives. Despite their differing roles within the Orc hierarchy, Orchimedes and Gazgul share a deep mutual respect for each other's abilities and contributions to the Orc cause. Gazgul views Orchimedes as a valuable ally and trusted advisor whose insights and inventions have played a pivotal role in shaping the course of Orc history. Similarly, Orchimedes holds Gazgul in high regard, recognizing him as a visionary leader and formidable warrior whose ambitions align with his own aspirations for Orc supremacy. Orchimedes' association with Gazgul affords him a measure of influence and authority within Orc society, allowing him to exert considerable sway over other mechboys and Orc leaders. While not a direct subordinate of Gazgul, Orchimedes' close ties to the war boss grant him access to critical resources and opportunities for advancement within the Orc hierarchy. Orchimedes' innovations and contributions to the war earn him the admiration and respect of his peers, further solidifying his position as one of the preeminent mechboys in Orkdom. Orchimedes' technological prowess poses a direct threat to imperial assets and personnel across multiple theatres of war. His creations, ranging from crude artillery pieces to heavily armored vehicles, have proven capable of inflicting significant casualties and disrupting imperial operations. Moreover, Orchimedes' propensity for constructing fortified strongholds, 
and defensive emplacements complicates efforts to dislodge orc forces from captured territory. His ability to improvise solutions to tactical challenges on the fly makes him a particularly unpredictable adversary, capable of exploiting weaknesses in imperial defenses with alarming efficiency. The Officio Assassinorum, the secretive organization tasked with eliminating high-value targets deemed threats to the Imperium, undoubtedly views Orc Mechboy Orchimedes as a prime candidate for neutralization. Orchimedes' exceptional technological expertise, strategic influence, and capacity for widespread disruption pose a significant threat to Imperial interests, making him a priority target for the Officio Assassinorum's operatives. Orchimedes' ingenuity and resourcefulness make him a formidable adversary capable of inflicting substantial harm on imperial forces and assets. His mastery of orc technology grants him the ability to devise new and innovative weapons, vehicles, and tactics that can turn the tide of battle in favor of the orcs. The Officio Assassinorum recognizes that eliminating Orchimedes would not only deprive the orcs of a key technological asset, but also disrupt their operational capabilities and diminish their overall effectiveness on the battlefield. Orchimedes' status as a renowned mechboy and his close association with Gazgul Mag Uruk Thraka elevate his importance as a target for assassination. His influence within Orc society and his role in shaping Orc military strategy make him a linchpin in the Orc war effort, and his removal would strike a significant blow to Orc morale and cohesion. The Officio Assassinorum understands the strategic value of neutralizing such a high-profile target and is prepared to deploy its most skilled operatives to accomplish this task. By eliminating Orchimedes, the Officio Assassinorum aims to disrupt Orc operations, sow discord among Orc ranks, and undermine their ability to prosecute their war against the Imperium effectively. Orchimedes' absence would create a void in Orc leadership and deprive the Orcs of crucial technological support forcing them to rely on less sophisticated weaponry and tactics. This disruption could provide Imperial forces with a crucial advantage on the battlefield and facilitate the containment and eventual defeat of Orc incursions into Imperial territory. Given the unpredictable and chaotic nature of Orc society, the Officio Assassinorum recognizes the need for precision and discretion in targeting Orchimedes. Covert operatives, trained in the arts of stealth, infiltration, and assassination, would be deployed to eliminate Orchimedes with minimal risk of detection. These operatives would leverage their expertise and specialized equipment to bypass Orc defenses, infiltrate Orc strongholds, and neutralize Orchimedes with surgical precision, ensuring that the Orc mechboy poses no further threat to Imperial interests. Beyond his immediate battlefield impact, Orchimedes' innovations have the potential to cause widespread disruption and destabilization across Imperial sectors. His knack for creating crude but effective weaponry, such as improvised explosives and jury-rigged artillery, poses a threat to civilian populations and critical infrastructure. Furthermore, Orchimedes' ingenuity extends to logistical and engineering challenges, allowing him to devise methods for bypassing imperial defenses and infiltrating secure installations. His actions have the potential to sow panic and chaos among imperial populations undermining morale and eroding public confidence in imperial authority. In conclusion, Orc Mechboy Orchimedes represents a significant threat to imperial interests due to his exceptional technological expertise, strategic influence, and capacity for widespread disruption. Immediate action is required to neutralize this threat and safeguard imperial assets from further harm. Failure to contain Orchimedes' activities could have dire consequences for imperial holdings and strategic objectives.